What is going on all you wonderful A-plusers out there? It is I, Stuart, here once again to give you guys another Common Rider Saber review. This time, of course, I'm going to be talking about episode number 42. Another really good episode, but again, another kind of uh, calm before the really big storm is about to hit, I, sh I guess we could, we could say. Uh, you know, you look at the previous episodes building up to uh, the defeat of Master Logos, and each one of those have really felt like they each could be their own penultimate episode, and in some cases, like, they all feel like they could all, all be their own season finales which how, with how like epic they got here it's a lot more calm now it's focusing a lot more on kind of story and character development than uh, action and and you know overall stakes and I kind of like this I like that you know we could go from something super intense uh, in order to get us on the edge of our seats to back to just having a nice calm episode uh, where we just get to learn a little bit more about our characters and see our characters grow um, so Starting out the episode, though, I do, even though I thought this was a really good episode overall, I do have a little bit of a nitpick that I need to get out of the way before I talk about everything else in the episode, and that's kind of just the Ren and the Zass storyline overall. In the previous episode, they made it seem like they were finally kind of building it up to uh, come to its uh, conclusion soon, uh, but then here, it, it kind of just uh, drags a little bit longer, and I've just been, it's not that I haven't, um, it's not that I don't think that this will have a good payoff, it's just that I don't know if the payoff is going to be worth how many episodes they've been really building this up to I guess is the best way to put it uh just I I personally just uh feel like um you know Ren has just been doing absolutely nothing and while I've never been a big fan of his character I would rather them just show him develop and become better rather than just completely having him sulk in the corner on his own but the way we left out the previous episode disaster wanted to essentially uh challenge Ren and told Ren to fight like his life depended on it making me think that this was going to be kind of the moment where the two of them use each other to become stronger realizing maybe their friendship is what makes them strong or something like that uh, but unfortunately the fight you know ends very fast because Ren just kind of gives up on trying and kind of goes back to just sulking while eating ramen noodles and uh, kind of nothing really gets accomplished overall um, we uh, we then cut to uh, Tassel in, in the Wonder World, and he is finally he is unfortunately killed by Storio. Storios, who is of course after Luna, seemingly, but maybe not due to what we see at the very end. And I'll get a little more into that afterwards. But um, essentially, while he's there, he actually kills uh, Tassel, but it gives Luna the time she needs to escape. But unfortunately, Tassel is now dead. And in a scene that I actually got kind of emotional with, uh, Tassel apologizes to Storios after Storios kills him. Storios is like confused about this, but Tassel explains, you know, the reason you're like this is because of me, because I found this power and this and this this power that corrupted you and turned you into this. Uh, it was a moment that I personally thought was incredibly sweet between uh, him and uh, and Storios, uh, you know, and it's too bad that he, that Storios, even though he seemingly has like a, mo uh, a moment, like a brief moment of not necessarily regret, but he definitely feels feels bad for what he just did um you know unfortunately it's not enough to change who he is because he does he does seemingly go back to doing what he's been doing unfortunately but it was such a really powerful moment though and you could tell it really got to Storios in particular so I definitely I definitely thought that whole scene was very well directed um, we then, of course, get more disaster and Ren, and this is where Ren is uh, un unrealizingly kind of a dick to uh, disaster because disaster, of course, has been you know following him around trying to help Ren get stronger, and Ren just kind of says, "You're lucky, disaster. You got no friends, therefore you got nothing to fight for." And I got to give some props to the uh, suit actor for disaster because. Even though you don't really get to see much facial expression from him, you could just see a lot of body language and you could tell that it's just one of those things where he, obviously that upset him, but he doesn't want to admit that it upset him, so he just kind of walks away after that. Uh, you know, I thought that was really cool that you could kind of see emotion being played through a suit that has like the same exact uh, facial expression like over and over. It kind of reminds me of uh, of Doom Patrol with uh, Robot Man, how the uh, suit actor does such a great job of portraying the emotion that we're supposed to feel from him from Brandon Frazier. That's what I got from watching Disaster in this episode. Um, 
So with Victor gone, this means that now Astorios essentially has kind of control of both the Wonder World and the real world, causing, of course, the two of them to start to merge again. But there is a way to stop this. Essentially, all the writers have to do is form a circle around like this breach that's going on, uh, throw their swords into the ground, and then suddenly that will seal the uh, portal, I guess. Uh, it's, it's exactly what we saw in the very pilot that actually gets uh, mentioned, is that we saw this already played out in the first episode and so that's what they uh that was their plan to prevent it from happening again so they all go around sticking their swords in the ground which creates a barrier but as tome is about to uh put his barrier in he is confronted by storios okay and here's another nitpick i definitely have with the episode's editing uh when, when we first see this moment play out it plays out in two different ways uh you know because of commercials and everything they always have to like end on some kind of a cliffhanger cliffhanger in order to keep you on the edge of your seats during the commercials however when they get back from the commercials they usually tend to replay the last clip that you saw but in this particular case it came off weird because it ended with uh disaster uh, attacking toma as toma is confronting storios uh but we don't see him confronting storios the first time we just see uh disaster attacking toma so when the scene plays out the next time i actually thought there might have been like some weird uh glitch with the episode that I downloaded but no it turns out that that was just how the episode played out it uh played out with him a first at first being attacked by disaster then the same scene plays out with him confronting Storios and then we get dialogue and then he's attacked by disaster and it's a really weirdly edited scene to my opinion uh you know it's a bit of a nitpick and it didn't take me out of the episode i just thought it was really weird um but that said uh toma does confront storios but of course like i've kind of been mentioning he's attacked by disaster and disaster kind of uh, blames toma for ren kind of giving up like you know all his motivation uh so the two of them battle and it's a you know a really decent uh fight scene but of course uh storios uh you know, it's kind of giving Disaster uh, crap the entire time, kind of saying that, you know, Disaster was never really anything more than a monster that he made on a whim. And so, you know, uh, he pretty much has no use for him. It's, it's kind of like the overall thing that he gets. And once again, we get to see like a lot of emotion kind of play out from Disaster, especially when he's confronting Toma, because Toma, you can tell, actually does feel a lot of pity for Disaster, something that Disaster has never gotten before from anyone. So Disaster just kind of walks away from the fight just kind of giving up uh but we do see that ren heard the entire conversation going on that you know i, I so ren does kind of get the idea that disaster does actually care for him so i'm uh, curious how that's going to play out in the next episode what i think will happen is ren will get stronger once he realizes that he does have someone to fight for and that someone is a uh, disaster but i could be wrong so we'll have to see how that plays out uh but yeah uh with uh with all that being said um the next uh moment that we get in the episode that i thought was pretty cool uh, of course this is after the uh all the uh, common writers are able to seal off the portal and therefore save the world uh we do get may who finds uh who finds luna at a park and uh you get a scene that was kind of funny where it's uh her kind of going after luna and luna like not really sure what to do so she just runs away and causes may to like fall into a uh, bunch of mud and uh you know it, it was kind of funny and uh I'm wondering if we're going to get more of that in the next episode. Like, maybe Luna feels like this is all her fault, so she's trying to avoid uh, meeting up with the other common Riders, and then May's the one trying to get Luna to come back. I think you could get some really funny gags with that if they decide to play it that way in the next episode. We'll definitely have to see. Uh, but we got to talk about this ending, because Storios returns to the South Pole base, and we get to see that clone that was brought up a while ago. The one that I kind of thought the writers of the show had forgotten about, because she hadn't been mentioned since uh, her... A one-off appearance but here she is back and uh yeah it seems like the uh this clone of luna might be the key that uh storios will need in order to complete his goal but uh i guess we'll have to wait and see how that plays out as well overall guys i thought this was a pretty decent episode uh nothing amazing and but i do like that we're finally starting to wrap up the ren and disaster story arc i think uh you know i i think i've been saying that the last few episodes and then they've kept been finding new ways to milk it and have it drag on uh so it's kind of the one thing i'm not the biggest fan of with uh the current uh this last slide kind of uh arc of the overall series is just kind of like the uh, development with ren and disaster um 
That said, I think that everything else is playing out really great in the episode. I'm overall really enjoying where the series is going, and I can't wait to see how it all comes to its conclusion. But of course, guys, at the end of the day, these are just my A-plus opinions. We here at A-plus Opinions always want to know what you guys think, so definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, but guys, above all, as we always say, keep it A-plus. If you enjoy our content and want to be a part of helping our channel grow, become a patron supporter. We have affordable tiers to choose from that offer a variety of exclusive and early access content. From audio files for all of our shows for you to enjoy on the road, access to our Discord community, and plenty of reactions, reviews, character breakdowns, and more. Check us out at patreon.com slash A plus opinions. And as always, remember, like subscribe and hit that bell notification so anytime we drop a brand new video you will be notified